Hello everybody and welcome back to Dominion of Men, episode 2. Here we are assaulting a Numenas. We've got several siege towers approaching the walls. Uh, we'll see if they all make it. They've got some pretty heavy towers. But we've got a bunch of other siege equipment to back them up. This is going to fail, so we'll get those Uruk swords off of that. Our heavier uh, infantry, Swords of the Shadow, has made it and should not have much of a problem up on the walls here. Get some Uruks to back them up. And over here, we've got a, an Orc band whose job will be just to capture these towers so that we can get up into the city. So this is one of the uh, unique settlement maps for the Dunedainic cities. There are a couple, and this is the rarer one for the larger cities like Anumanas, uh, Dol Amroth, I believe, also has this layout. Uh, so it is a bit more challenging than the one you'll see in most Dunedainic cities, which is a flat uh, battle map with a plaza in the center. And so this is sort of a larger city. We'll have to go up. Uh, uphill to get to this central citadel area. The forces inside are not too bad. They've got some tier 2 swordsmen on the walls, as well as some Ariador hunters for uh, archery. Some king spearmen and some militia. They do have a family member here. I think this is the heir of the reunited kingdom. Some more swordsmen over here, and then up in the central plaza, some longbowmen. So this will be a tough unit, but I think we should be able to handle it. Let's just speed it up while our men climb the tower, and then we'll start grabbing, uh, grabbing these arrow towers here. get these on our side and then we'll be able to start doing some damage even before coming to grips with the enemy. Great gods! Our soldiers have done well this day. The walls are taken. So All right, so we've got the attention of those swordsmen, so I may be able to go and get the gate as well. I'd like to preserve this orc band though because it's a pretty cheap unit. Uh, they're not great in um, in fighting, but they would be a good garrison. Just a large unit size, not too expensive. Right, let's see if I can get my Uruks up the tower to attack the bowmen. We're going to be taking the gateway pretty soon. Yep, we're starting to do some damage on them already with those uh, ballista in there. So that means we could start sending our infantry down uh, into the city and our cab as well. So let's get them all together right out here. Let's we'll see if we can take out the enemy general before he gets up to the plaza.
Oh, this is bad. Here. We're getting hit by the by the walls as well. As soon as they stop marching and kind of form up, we can see about a charge, but they're still still got a, a couple of guys inside the the melee there. Alright, screw it. Let's just throw them in and hope for the best. Longbow shooting at us? Mm, yeah, maybe. Definitely coming out, which is uh, kind of good in a way. If they come down here and we can catch them, uh, we can get rid of that unit rather than having to fight them in the town square. But it looks like they're going back up the hill. Finally. All right, that was very clumsy. What do we have here? Okay, we've got these guys. Let's start sending them uh, up the hill. All right, the Rydor hunters are gone, essentially, so we can war cry these guys and send them to the swordsmen, who have done a fantastic job at killing my elite Swords of the Shadow. Very disappointed all around here. Okay. And they've got a nice position on top of the hill and they're shooting at us, so not going to be that easy. All right, I think we are going to take care of those swordsmen, and so we'll just get the rest of our guys uh, heading up to the city including these archers, just in case we need them. Let's see what these longbowmen do. They probably won't flee, but it'd be nice if they did, if we get them to at least stop shooting at us for a little while. And there's basically nothing in the city. All right, looks like we're going to get a decent charge. Um, let's pull through my general. All right. Send him down to another charge. might work out. Alright, longbowmen routing. Just some king's swordsmen in the plaza. So I think we will wait for our other units to get up here rather than take them on. Uh, with our cav. Then 
And we just need the archers up here to pull them uh, down the hill. And these guys are winning, which is, again, really disappointing. Those swordsmen on the walls. Well, if they route all of those units... they'll still have to come down all the way up here to deal with the rest of our troops. So that is going to be fine. Bowman. Bowman. You guys, uh... Bowman. All right. And now I think we could almost take them out. There we go. I think we're going to get a route. Nope. How are those swords doing? Okay, they're still going. Alright, let's, uh, let's get my swordsman down again. Put them off to the side here. Before they get back. No, so we'll do this again. Wait, it looks like we have him actually. So I'll break him. Alright, so we got the plaza, now we just need to sit in it for a couple of minutes. Man, those king swordsmen on the walls. It was just one unit. This is a tier two unit for the Reunited Kingdom. Good news, though, we take this city. Uh, this is a big production center for them up here. It's one of really only two places they can train anything at the beginning of the game. Uh, the other is Bree, and uh, we're going to deal with that as well. All right, we'll just end the battle here. Uh, a disappointing victory, in my opinion. But we did get it. We'll occupy here. Um, bring the taxes down. We, we don't want the growth to hurt, you know, too bad. Uh, now we're going to run into the problem, uh, which is because we have no money, we can't build anything here. We can't build anything. We can't train anything. Uh, so we're going to really hold on to things. Uh, what you want to do when you first take a town in this mod that you want to hold is you want to destroy the dominion building uh, of the native ruler. So in this case, this is a reunited kingdom, homeland dominion. I would need to destroy this and then, uh, you know, build my own in its place. But if I destroy it, I can't build my own because I've got negative 31,000 myriad. So that's not going to work. Uh, the other thing is, if I destroy it just for the money, that's going to actually be hurting my public order faction-wide. So that's going to lead to problems all over the place. So I don't want to uh, get rid of it unless I can replace it. So all that stuff is going to have to wait. We won't be building for a very long time. Right, we're moving up here. Now this army, we're going to try to get up towards northern Mirkwood with it. And the same is true for this army. We're going to have to pass through Rovanian's territory. Uh, I think we're now in Rune's territory. But I'm not seeing that they have much in the way of armies in the area. So we'll just hope to pass on through. This is a pretty decent force. It's got its own uh, cav, some good spears, and some all-around decent infantry. So we should be okay to pass through here. And then we're going to have to make a decision uh, about how we proceed uh, to get towards northern Mirkwood with this army. But with this force, we can move in towards Lorien, place that under siege. Uh, and we really don't need that much in terms of siege stuff because they only have two units in here. Three. Okay, so they just built another one. Just trained another unit. So there's a family member in here. 
uh, unit of Galadrim warriors, and then, I don't know, maybe another unit of Galadrim warriors, maybe Galadrim scouts, probably another bow sword hybrid unit. And this is the army that does not have catapults, so this is going to be a bit more of a challenge for us. We do have some good stuff in here, um, but assaulting an elven settlement, we don't have any armor piercing units, like no uh, axes, so yeah, we'll have to see how this goes. We have some longbowmen, we do have some other archers, and we've got three units of cav, as long as this guy doesn't die of old age, as well as this lighter cav. So, you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, if that fails, we may have to uh, just move on. Okay, so Bree. We've got Bree under siege. Um, I think, though, what I want to do is bring some other units over, or we need to keep up our momentum. There's no sense uh, in just hanging around. Okay, and that orc unit I wanted to use as garrison is just not going to be not going to be useful. But actually, he can hold the population there with just 17 men. Alright, that's probably going to change. Um, so, maybe it's time to head down into the Shire. I'm beginning to regret having an army here. Uh, let's do that. Let's bring him down. And we'll go for uh, for Bucklebury. Yeah, we'll see what the hobbits have to do about this. And we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be in debt for for a long time. Okay. They want to cease fire. Now we can get something from them out of this. So let's just see. Uh, we can potentially. Let's just see if they will be willing to give us a province. Oh my gosh, we could ask for the Elven King's Halls. So their capital must be Mithlond, the Grey Havens. They moved it. Okay, so which place would we want? We may have a chance at this. Um, if the AI wants a ceasefire, I've, I've had this happen in the past, you can counter offer sometimes for a settlement and sometimes they will give it to you. So which one would I want them to give me? Karis Galadon, small enough garrison I'm not too worried about. Um, Forland and Harland, those are tiny places I don't think they can even train out of because the population is so low. Emin Duir is similarly small. The Elven King's Halls would be a great prize uh, because it's so far to the north that I'm not sure that I can get up there in time. So let's see if they'll give it to us. No. Okay. <laughs> All right. I guess it would be kind of anticlimactic if we just uh, won this through, di you know, diplomacy. But um, they want, so the Reunited Kingdom wants us to become their client. I'm going to say no to that. And they're going to take over Carandros and probably attack us at Bree. But no, they didn't. Surprising. Okay, they're in a pretty strong position here, uh, which is why they did not do that. Hmm. I could attack now. Can I get units up there from this and attack with them? Yeah, I think I can. So I could leave a token unit of Grim Spears down here, bring all these guys up, and then just throw them at Bree. I think that might be the thing to do. All right. Meanwhile, the Hobbits haven't done anything to us yet so let's uh let's go over here they've got a family member in bucklebury do i have any other units around any agents up here i do have a spy all right mickle delving's pretty far away under towers is over here that's got a lot of units in it uh let's see yeah let's uh let's put bucklebury under siege go ahead and attack the shire I have never done this before. So, they've got a family member inside. This is a unit of Hobbit archers. So, this will be a fun little battle. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's assault Bree. We take out Bree, and then we can really um, take our breath right in the north. Because if we can do this, which I have no doubt... 
the reunited kingdom will not be able to train anything and not be able to touch us for a long time. We might even be able to get peace with them and Rohan since we don't share any borders anymore. That's a bit tricky to make that happen, but... We also don't have any diplomats, I don't think, so that's going to be a problem. All right, so yeah, this is the uh, the more typical Dunedainic city layout. And I think I want to use, like, Grim Spears for basically everything. They're uh, the worst unit uh, that I have in this stack, in terms of infantry anyway. ton of cav here. Soldiers have reached the gates with a battering ram. Right, so they're holding up, uh, holding up in the city, yeah, and they've, they've got quite a cluster of units here. And this is actually kind of a tricky layout because there's so many, um, there's these side streets. It's hard to get a clear shot. And so it really becomes a slog. Well, we are being able to uh, get some shots. They have a lot of militia. So that's good. Of course the goal here is to try to maintain our army as much as we can. All right, and no one's no one's coming down to uh, contest our capture of the gate. Uh, so the spearmen would be the best unit to bring forward. I'm thinking the the grim spears uh, will sort of lead the way, and then we'll go with the uh, the royal spearmen to back them up. We have one unit of swords. Uh, they'll be back here as well. But let's let's see. Our soldiers have captured the walls. Now is the time to press on and capture this place. Get the family members in because they will replenish if they take losses. And it'll be good to have some cabin here to be running down archers and uh, broken up units. But yeah, if they all go into the town square, this is just going to be, be annoying. Let's bring up the other cav as well. And we do have a lot of archers, so that's nice. Put them on guard mode there and let them all pile on. Let's get some more bowmen back here and the general. So if we loop around there, we might be able to uh, cut them off. So Grim Spears and the Kingdom Militia are 
roughly equal, I guess. Says they're winning easily. Uh, but we do have some, some tougher spearmen right behind them and some swords as well. Okay, there's their bows. And I don't see any other infantry around here, so I think we will have a good shot at taking out the general. Let's get those mercenary cavalry over here. want to kind of cut them off from the town square. Yeah, I'm just going to throw the swords in, I guess. Right, now we're fighting with the, uh, the general. who is losing heavily. Kill him, then we can charge into the archers uh, and then hit the back of this formation. So they're getting tired as well. Um, our Grim Spears, we get them on guard mode, so they're still fresh. All these guys are tired or utterly tired, which is fantastic. All right, there goes the general. Do need someone to? No, actually, let's let's go hit all the archers because I think we can take out what's left of the bodyguard unit with this mercenary cav. And our bowmen are are kind of ineffectual here. Um, okay, they're bringing some some of those guys. See, now we're get we're able to shoot them in the back though, which is great. Let's bring these down into the archers. Now that we've started to separate this formation from the melee clump, I think we were able to get some more shots in. Alright, there go the bows. I think everything else in here is, is militia. Alright, and we are starting to get into... Spearmen over here, but yep, we get just routed them. And we'll just bring all of our cab into the back of this formation. Hopefully we can get a big route going. And then what we want to do is use the archers to pull these two units out of the town square. Alright, great, we got a route here. Another one. Yeah, this is going to be very nice. Bring the bowman up to around here, I think. Alright, so all of those units are now gone. And as soon as we've got them, uh, got them all taken care of, we'll bring our cab up here so that we can hit the back of these units when we pull them out of the square. So that's kind of the plan. Our guys are now tired. Let's uh, run them through here. Okay. Let them get back up to... Um, you know, not so tired. Let's bring up our... Grim Spears, because I forgot to do that. Even these guys uh, getting caught in melee is not such a big deal. And we're about to hit this militia in the back with our cav uh, as well. There we go. Square. Like 
out of it. That'd be great. Okay. Well, the dark bows, backs, they got pulled way too far ahead. Along with everybody, really. Yeah, that'll be fine. Alright, we're already pulling them out. And they're shaking. Should be the end. All right, we get Bree. So that went a lot better than a Numenas. But this means that now we've basically got the north. Uh, everything up here is ours. Victory! And we don't have to worry about attack uh, from anyone except Tharbad for a while. Again, we're going to just occupy here. Um, we're going to be losing population uh, for a really long time. Unless we get a sudden windfall of cash, uh, there's not a lot we can do. Okay, there is, yes, ranger holds here we can't do anything with. Um, and everything else is going to be of use to us on some level. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so we've got low taxes here and here. Um, and now we've got armies uh, that are theoretically free to, uh, to kind of do what we want with them. One thing we might consider is heading down uh, to claim Tharbad sooner rather than later. Uh, at least get an army down towards Bree. Once we take out Bucklebury, get, get the Shire, see how our economy goes, then we'll be able to decide how we want to proceed. Um, because Tharbad can be a really big threat, and we don't have a lot of troops initially. So yeah, let's move. Let's uh, let's stay out of rebel territory for now, and then we'll go up there next turn. And we can assault Karis Galadon. So let's do it. All right, Orofin of the Knife. This is uh, another noble, so he's going to be leading a uh, unit of Elven retainers. Very tough unit to deal with, especially in a siege battle. Also got some good archers uh, and swordsmen in these Galadrim warriors uh, with mail, so a great just defense overall. And threshold troops, less worried about these. These are the weakest unit uh, of, of all these, uh, but they're still not to be underestimated. They are a spear unit, and so our cab is going to have to watch out, and they can stand up against pretty much anything for a while. So here is the city. Uh, we haven't seen an elven settlement map yet, uh, but this is Karis Galadon. Got a lot of lovely uh, Malorn trees, I guess, here. And then the, the big challenge is that it is this long, steep hill to the, uh, to the central area. Um, we've got another path upwards here, but it goes around uh, the city. And so usually the, the direct route is the best. There are also a couple of side paths leading over to these uh, plaza areas, but they're not accessible unless you go through the central square. In theory, they offer some kind of archer platforms. Um, the AI usually doesn't use them for that, uh, at, least, at least as far as I've seen. So we shouldn't have to worry about that. Probably they're going to have a unit on the walls. It's probably going to be an archer unit. Um, and so we're going to have to be very careful because they're going to have great range. This looks like a pretty safe section of wall, though, for us to hit. I don't think I want to use the spearmen uh, on the siege tower. I think we'll go instead with this uh, black shields unit. Um, maybe this would be another decent spot to try to grab. We may get hit from the towers there. We've got another siege tower. Uh, I think I want to leave some siege towers just kind of near where they expect us. 
so that they're encouraged to actually keep their units there. Okay, so let's get all of our cav together. Oh, right, this is not a cav unit. Okay, this is a unit of Black Company. Uh, so an infantry bodyguard unit, uh, archers uh, with swords. So we will have to keep that in mind. All right, and this is all of our cav right here. These are all of our bows. And I want to keep them kind of back. We don't have many swords. All right. Just grim spears. It'll be kind of a front line. Good to, to deal with those, um, those swords. Okay, looks like nobody's on the wall, actually. They're right behind it, so let's go over here. Leaving some threshold troops. Well, maybe they're all heading back. All right, so this is going to be annoying. Uh, they're going to have their archers right up here at the central plaza. So we're going to have to go, I think, up both of these paths. All right, I'm only going to risk uh, this one tower. So we'll try to capture the wall here and capture the tower, the gate, uh, and then he'll just walk around all of these towers. All right, but everything else, uh, you guys can all drop what you're holding. Our siege towers have reached the wall. Now there will be hard fighting to break the defenses. All right, didn't take any losses on the way in. That's great. As soon as we capture these uh, towers and gates, they're going to move off as soon as they start taking losses. So I think the best thing for us to do uh, is to send up... Let's see, we could send up a unit that we don't mind getting shot, like a Grim Spears. We got three of them. We could just sort of push them ahead of us. Uh, and then we'll send our real army around to the left. That might make sense. Alright, yeah, so there they go. I don't know if they took any losses. Let's keep going over here, though. They seem to want to go this way. Okay, they took one. They took two. Okay. All right, let's get everybody in. We're going to have to take this kind of slow. Missed another unit of Cav, so they'll come over here. Uh, but yeah, so Grim Spears, you guys are just going to walk up there. And maybe I'll even have my... Oh, what are you doing? Oh, interesting. Yes, please come down. I'd love to fight you down here as opposed to... As opposed to all in the town plaza. I think we get that tower and that would be good. Yeah, okay. Um, Swords of the Shadow, let's send you guys in too. If the family member wants to come down... Uh, the Elven Retainers, then that's great. Now, we do have to be careful because they're going to be in range of the gates. Why don't I get some archers up there? Maybe all of you guys uh, can head over there. Um, we do have some longbowmen. Let's take you and you up here. Okay, they're going back. They're gonna stay there. Oh, this is great. If they if they don't go to the top, I'd way rather fight them down here. Send one unit of spearmen there. Uh, I guess backed up with another one, and then these two. I think I've got two. Yep. Right about like here. 
And we're gonna get them along with some some swords to uh, to take out those threshold spears, I think. Okay, they're moving a little bit forward. Right, what else do we have here? Okay, a couple units of Spears of the Shadows, so this is a good unit. And some Dark Swords, which are fine. Alright, yeah, let's get the Bowman up like here. Alright, we're getting hit uh, by the Threshold troops. They are coming down. They can hit us from really far, so we're just going to stay put for now. Um... They're like marching. They're trying to get through us, it looks like. So let's... Now, we do have a shield wall option with these uh, black shields. Right, they're coming down. Oh man, if we could, uh, if we could make this work. Fifty-four. So they're still uh, doing extremely well. Family member is not uh, not doing anything to us yet. So let's get our uh, good archers in. And if we can get some shots on their archers, oh, they're already hitting us. So shield wall, I think that protects them against archer fire to some extent. I'm gonna put them right here. I think we can take this threshold spears unit. Pretty confident. We'll get our other spears in. Get the bowmen up here. They're charging in with their general. And let's get them on guard mode. They're going to tear through those Grim Spears. But they're bringing these guys down, which is amazing for us. Yep, let's hit them. And get you guys right here because they're going to be the easiest ones for us to shoot. It's going to take a while before we get through their hit points, uh, but we could do it. All right, and he's still up on the wall. Now, if I bring this unit of swords down and try to go for the plaza, I think the AI is going to try to run back to defend it. So I don't want that to happen just yet. I'll leave him up on the wall for now, just so they don't suspect anything. I don't know if my Grim Spears could hit that unit. They can. Right, we do have some more Dark Swords. 17 Threshold Troops. Alright, we got them down uh, quite a bit. We've still got uh, 68 Swords of the Shadow and 62. We're doing very well uh, over there. Still haven't taken any uh, of these Galadrim warriors out. It is raining though, so that may be having an effect. Right, these guys need to get up here quicker. Alright, I'm just going to halt them and then have them shoot. So not all of them are going to be firing, but um, that's going to be fine. All right, now we've got the black shields hitting the elven retainers. Looks like they did lose one unit. I'm not sure if that is to the gatehouse or to uh, just to melee. All right, we've taken out one of the uh, Galadrim warriors, it looks like. And now we can afford to bring in our cavalry because the threshold spears are taken care of. So let's get them around. Uh, quickly to the left. We'll bring them around the wall, up, and then we'll come down into the back. Alright, 39 Galadrim Warriors. We're 
We're gonna have to hold these uh, elven retainers here, but I think we can. Down to 36. Yep, the, the kills are starting to uh, starting to stack up now. lose this general. Um, a little worried that they're focus firing on him. But you know what? We weren't going to keep him forever anyway. Thirty-nine elven retainers. Uh, oh my gosh! Only eight black shields. Holy man! They ripped that unit to pieces. Right, everyone's gonna be on guard mode. We're gonna just be slowly pulling them. Back, uh, kind of towards the gate. We're gonna keep them in. Sort of in melee with us. Just one unit at a time, just to hold them here. And also to kind of pull us towards the gate, but looks like that unit is going back towards the top. Alright, so that's going to take the pressure off in a way, but it's also not good. There's still 30 men in the unit. Um, Alright. Halt that. I guess no sense in keeping the swords up there anymore. Let's keep bringing the cav around, though. Did they use all of their arrows? be great if they did. Alright, so what I'm going to do, I think, uh, is get an archer unit down. Oh, he used all of his arrows. Okay. So yeah, they may have uh, they may have run out of arrows. We get our archers around here, though, because uh, if we can use them to pull them out of the plaza, then that could work. down to 38, and they are utterly tired, so this is great. We're going to lose, like, so many, so many units here. But the walls are firing at them. Uh, that's, that's hitting us in the back, unfortunately, but um, we've got to accept those losses. Okay, I don't think they have any arrows left. So I'm just going to move my guys up the hill. guys off guard mode just see how they do uh, it's it's probably not going to be much better but I think guard mode 
keeps you guys fresh. And then you take them out of it, and then they, they get more attacky, get more aggressive, I guess. I don't play with it too much, to be honest. Uh, okay, so we're just warmed up here. And yeah, they're not shooting at us. So we can bring our swords right up here. And our cab is uh, warmed up or fresh. Now, if I felt like I wanted to, I could wait and bring my archers all the way around here uh, and pull them down, but I'm kind of thinking just to go in. Get around them with our cab if we can. get uh, the opportunity to do a charge or so. Still got 30, but we just need our guys to hold here. If we can do that, then we can charge down here. There's 36 of them. Alright, let's see. Are we going to get a good charge? Kinda. Yeah, that was good. So when it says they're not charging anymore, that's when we pull them out. 15. Right, these guys are in melee. These guys are still charging, so we'll pull this unit out. And we'll pull this unit out. Right, 14. That was actually great. Pull you guys out and have you do that again. Then we'll charge in with our bodyguards and hope they don't die on impact. Not look like a good charge, but no, I guess it was. Down to 10, 9. Alright. Not too bad. 8. We didn't take any losses yet. So I'll keep them in for a little while. 6, 4, 3. Alright, great. I think we've got the plaza cleared. And we could theoretically just hold this, but they're going to march up to it. So we need to um, we need to not let them get up there. All right. So it looks like cleaned out that unit. Now the problem is we've run into this um, see how it says they're still in melee. If you wipe out a unit uh, in a charge or something like that you do sometimes get kind of stuck uh, but usually you can get out of it by walking your guys around uh, a little bit. Alright, so there they are right there. We need to kind of pin them and then uh, break them here. Right, I'd love to free up one of these bodyguard units. There we go. So we'll have this guy doing the charge. Alright, yeah. 29 of them. All right, yeah. So it took us a little while, but we're getting, we're getting out of that uh, pile of corpses. All right, now I want them to be held by my melee units back here. So what they're doing is they're charging back because my archers are shooting them. Where are you going? Just, just chill out right there. Swordsman. 
All right, this is an absolute. That was just a non-charge. That was that was just terrible. Uh, but we are killing them, or at least one of them. They're on a slope, though. I'd love to. I need to get them pinned th this way. We can try this again, maybe. The swords are at least holding them in place, so maybe this uh, bodyguard unit can now charge down in. But they're just running through, which is not very sporting of them. All right, we are charging. Now, when the timer runs out, I can end the battle. Uh, but that that doesn't seem that doesn't seem quite fair. Maybe I'll consider that later. Um, just seems a little a little too easy if I do it that way. But yeah, they're they've got us they're tied up pretty good in there. Three. Twenty-two. All right, that's pretty good. Twenty-one. And this is not going to be a good charge either. Maybe I should be using my older family member. Uh, let's get these archers up here. Try that again. Right, you guys can go back and, and hold the plaza while I bring, uh, bring my older family member down. Right, he's going to get a good charge. Down to 15, 14, 13. Nice. Alright. This is what we have to do. Just keep cycling back and forth. We're down to six now. Down to five. Where'd they go? Oh, okay. There's still some down here. Down to three. Awesome. Two. Is the general? This is the uh, one of his bodyguard. Okay, right there. He's getting knocked over. All right, try again. There he goes. All right, now we've got it. Okay, we got Lorian now. Two down. And let's see how our army looks on the campaign map. Probably not too good. Victory! Settlement captured. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> Lay desolate. Uh, here we can afford to just go ahead and destroy everything because we are not keeping this. Uh, so anything that can uh, be destroyed, will be. There's not, not too much in here. Uh, but yeah, the army... There are some good units that we want to preserve. So, Captain. contemplating Captain. the best thing to do. Um, there's only a few passes over the Misty Mountains. Obviously, we could head back down south through here, but that's, that's a terrible idea. Rohan is down here. They're going to have big armies. Even though man for man, they're not as intimidating soldiers as the elves... They have a lot of men and heavy cav they could throw at us. 
this is not a safe place for us to be. In fact, I'm most worried about Rohan, actually, uh, because the Reunited Kingdom is down, you know, down in Gondor. Uh, they're not going to expand up to near where we're going to be. But Rohan very well may. Uh, they're probably going to eliminate Dunland and then move up into Tharbad. Uh, so if we do see a strong Tharbad, uh, that might be a good thing because they act as a check on Rohan. Um, but in any case, we need to get this army somewhere else. I don't think they're going to be of much use in the other elven settlements we have on this side of the Misty Mountains. We've got two more to take. Uh, and we've got a couple of stacks that I think ought to be able to handle it. This stack, of course, has our catapults. That's going to be great. If we can keep the ruler around, that would be awesome. Not sure if that's going to work out. And we also have this army that is approaching from the south. And so he's going to head up there as well. And if they can both make it up there fairly intact, then we should be able to deal with uh, these elven settlements in the north. So it might be time to think about how to send this guy over the mountains. One other way, alternatively, is uh, through Moria. That would mean fighting the dwarves, and I'm not particularly keen to do that. Uh, they have very tough units as well. We'd need to siege their city. Uh, and I don't really want to do that. The other approach is the High Pass Stronghold. Uh, this is full of orcs, and so that's also going to be difficult. Uh, another option, a third option, might be to keep this army uh, kind of in the area until these armies are done. Assuming everything goes well, we can then all three of these stacks go together over the High Pass so we can take it. Uh, and then get them all across in one go. That might be the thing to do. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, let's crank up the taxes in Karas Galadon to very high, and uh, and Emon Lake as well. And we'll get these guys marched into the north. Um, our siege of Bucklebury, I think, will have to wait for the following episode. So we made some good progress today. Took out Anumanas, took out Bree, took out Lorien, uh, and now the elves are reduced to just five of their initial seven settlements. So we're making a good start, folks. Thank you very much for joining me, and I hope you will stick around for the next episode. Until then, take care.